questions and adventures never end. How do lights turn on? Where have dinosaurs gone? Can the wind sing a song? Are they really black swans? Why do people yawn? Where the stars at dawn? The questions and adventures never end. La 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 Luna, Luna, Luna. Camouflage. My super tower is going to go all the way to Mars. The walls around my castle are going to be very strong. That way the dragons can't get the princess. But why would dragons want to get the princess? So she can't reign, Jupiter. They want to get the princess and her little pet ferret. Speaking of ferrets, where's Clyde? Oh yeah, Clyde, where are you? Clyde? Clyde! He's not here. Not here either. I know! The backyard! He's not in his little bed. And he's not playing with his octopus. Mom, have you seen Clyde? I have, right there. I looked there and I didn't see him. There he is. He's sleepy. You almost can't even see him in the middle of all those leaves. That's because Clyde is camouflaged, Jupiter. Camel dodge. Hi, Clyde. Hi, Clyde. We've been looking for you. <laughs> Yeah, we saw you were sleeping. I mean, we didn't really see you because you were camouflaged in the leaves. Luna, well, what kind of camouflage? <laughs> camouflage, Jupiter. Camouflage is when an animal is kind of hidden. Ah, you mean like it's hidden and seek for animals? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think so. Clyde wasn't playing, he was sleeping. Do all animals camouflage when they sleep? No. I think it depends on the animal. I didn't even know Clyde did it. Very interesting. I wonder why animals camouflage themselves. I want to know. <laughs> I've just got to know. What's happening here? What can it mean? This is the greatest thing I've ever seen. What's happening here? Let's figure it out. I just gotta know what this is all about. <laughs> you don't have to be scared, Clyde. It's just an ant carrying a leaf. Careful, Jupiter. <sighs> it's okay, guys. It's just a leaf insect. Seems like all animals are hiding today. This leaf insect is perfect. We're going to use him in our experiment. Experiment? Yay! No! <laughs> We're going to keep an eye on him. That's easy. He's the biggest leaf and his green is lighter. He's not even camouflaged. Yeah, maybe he needs bigger leaves to camouflage himself. Wow, he hides really well, just look. Yeah, now these leaves all look like him. His camouflage didn't work as well in the other vase. Huh? Yeah, where is he? Look, there he is. That's not a leaf insect. He must be hiding somewhere around here. He camouflaged himself. Now it's going to be really hard to find him. Gee, why did he have to hide himself from us? I don't know, Jupiter. Maybe he didn't want to be part of our experiment. Or maybe he was tired or hungry. We could get a ladybug. There's tons of them out here. Do you think ladybugs camouflage themselves too? I don't know. 
Only if we put her on red fabric with black polka dots. <laughs> I'm going to camouflage myself. Hey, Clyde, Jupiter. I have an idea for make-believe. Let's be three frogs in the forest and find out why animals camouflage themselves. Super Jumper Frog Jupiter ready for make-believe. Here we go. We're frogs. And we can jump really high. Let's go explore and look for some camouflaged animals. Let's jump. Are you tired of jumping? We better run away from here, and fast. We don't run, Jupiter. We're frogs, we jump. No, don't move, Jupiter. Don't run. Just stay still. You too, Clyde. Is he gone? He's gone. You can open your eyes. I think that cat needed glasses. He didn't even see us. He didn't see us because we disappeared in the green grass. We're green, Clyde. Green like the grass. So we're camouflaged. We're here, but it looks like we're not. Needle! I wonder if animals use camouflage to protect themselves from danger. Huh? There's something moving over there. It looks like a rock. Do you think rocks camouflage themselves too? but they don't move. Let's see what it is. It's a little deer and squirrels. From where we were looking, they were camouflaged, but look. Hi, little frogs. Come over here. I don't think we're camouflaged anymore. <laughs> yeah, because we're not in the grass now. Everything is more brown and orange over here. Why are you all camouflaged? Me? Camouflaged? Don't tell me that! Is it serious? Is it bad? Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay any attention to him. He's a little silly. <laughs> Why are you guys hiding? We're not hiding. You're not? I look a lot like my mom. Mom! I look a lot like my dad. Dad! I look like my grandma and my grandpa too. Grandma and grandpa. We all kind of look like the forest where we live. Our fur is the color of the trees and the forest. Our fur is the color of the trees and the forest. And that's why sometimes we're hard to see. <laughs> and we can hide right in plain sight, keeping us safe whether <laughs> day or night. <laughs> I look a lot like my mom. Mom. I look a lot like my dad. Dad. I look like my grandma and my grandpa too. Grandma and grandpa. We all kind of look like the forest where we live. Well, actually, sometimes we're not here. We're there, or there, or there. No, I think I'm busy. <laughs> So that's it. Just like when we were in the grass and the cat came and the leaf insect in the vase. A Clyde sleeping in the leaves. The animals' colors mix with their surroundings and that protects them. That's so amazing. This is the best experience ever. I want to jump in the grass and pretend to be invisible. Hey, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> That dizzy scroll was funny. <laughs> <laughs> now we know why animals use camouflage. I just thought of someone who would really like to hear about our discovery. Ooh. Yeah. Dr. Jane, we'd like to sing our camouflage song for you. I'm Jupiter Frog. <laughs> yeah, we're frogs, green like this grass. And Clyde is a leaf insect. <laughs> I don't think he's a leaf insect anymore. <laughs> I look a lot like my mom. Mom. <laughs> I look a lot like my dad. Dad. 
I look like my grandma and grandpa too. Grandma and grandpa. We all kind of look like the forest where we live. Our fur is the color of the trees and the forest. Our fur is the color of the trees and the forest. That's why sometimes we're hard to see. Ha <laughs> ha! And we can hide right in plain sight. Keeping us safe whether day or night. Dolphins and sharks are the color of the sea. That is why they can swim around so safely. I look a lot like my mom. Mom! I look a lot like my dad. Very, very good. I loved it. Well done, Luna and Jupiter. You did very well too, Clyde. How about we go inside so I can examine this little toothless guy? He's toothless? Uh-huh. Let's go check him out. Yeah. I was toothless once too. Wait, why do our teeth fall out? Why do we have to grow new teeth if we already had them? So many questions. Wait for me, I want to help too. Come on, Luna. Turn on, we're half time. 